Okay, the smoker is not quite complete yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my first cook on it. There are several little things I need to do. This cutting board still needs to be attached. The door latches still haven't come in. I'm waiting, they got lost somewhere. <clears throat> and I need to put a bottom shelf, handles, you know, just lots of little finishing touches, but the cook chamber's all done and ready to go. And I've seasoned it yesterday, ran it for several hours at 250 and sprayed the inside. Um, today, for my first cook, I'm gonna do some pork spare ribs. And for the seasoning, Uncle Tim's T13, just poured it all over it. You know, season it good and heavy with lots of Uncle Tim's T13. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get these placed in there and get them going. You can see I have to use a clamp here to hold the door shut for now, but it works good with the insulation. It doesn't get hot on the surface here, so it's a big deal. Ooh, there's some smoke. Ugh. <coughs> 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 All right, I got the ribs all loaded up. I don't have all my racks in yet, all the grates. And so I kind of had to improvise, but I got the ribs in there and yeah, it's coming back up to temp. And we'll check back on it in a few hours and see how it's going. A couple hours into the cook. Ribs are looking good. Pork lard rendering there. And then these are the other ribs. I didn't have any more racks yet. They're supposed to come in tomorrow. Anyhow, so we got had to put those ribs in a pan. They're not yet very smoky. These ones are getting smoked. Looking good. Anyhow. <coughs> So it looks like it's working. Get pen down here. Getting some good smoke. Nice color. All right, it's been several hours now, almost four hours. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the one rack of ribs and go ahead and get them wrapped. This is pork lard I'm gonna go ahead and pull on here. has been in there smoking along with the ribs the whole time. Now I've got the ribs wrapped. I've got baked potatoes going up there, beans down here. Everything's looking good. It's working like a champ. Here's what's left of the wood chips. After all that time, it was probably five hours. 
or so, it burned them all up. So that part's working. Okay, now the smoker is set in warming oven mode. I have it set at 155. Took out the wood chips so there's no more smoke. It's just now keeping dinner warm. Getting close to being done. I got the handle welded on. I'm just waiting on the door latches and then I can start getting the final assembly. But it's getting close. Well, the infamous door latches have finally arrived, so I'm going to go ahead and get those welded on and then hopefully be able to get this project wrapped up. Okay, I got it all painted, the handles on, the latches on, these push handles are on, and it's all painted on the outside. Of course, it won't paint it on the inside. But anyhow, it's all painted, and I just need to screw the cutting board on and put the bottom shelf on, and then mount the electronics. Okay, so I have it all together, I have it all painted, I have the shelf put on, I have the cutting board mounted, I have the electronics mounted, the handles, the latches, the damper is mounted. Now the only thing left to do is add some decorations to it. But other than that, all together and running. Electronics mounted and the cables all routed up out of the way. Heavy duty door latch. And I did my first cook the other night with it before it was even completed and cooked some ribs and they came out very well. So I'm looking forward to cooking with it again now that I got it all together and painted. And the latch on, the biggest pain was the door latch because I would, just had a big three foot long clamp on to hold the door closed. But now I have the door latch, it'll make it much easier to get in and out of. And I have some more wire grates coming as well. So I have the handles mounted and then I got some plugs in the ends here, both of these, and then also on the bottom down there, plastic plugs where the tubing was open. And then I've got all this space here on the side. I plan on probably putting some different signs on there, like B for pork, cuts, and then 
maybe my logo on the front door on the door here but 